Yeah, welcome to another episode of the People's Mic. I am Jimmy Peoples here with Yahiana fans. He's coming to hang out. Yeah. Trying, trying to, trying to work on the tone of my voice. I know when I, when I start these things, I just get on here and I start yelling. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, welcome to the People's Mic. I'm Jimmy Peoples. I got this uh, strong voice. I don't know what to, you know. Yeah, we 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 uh we work things out. We also got a studio audience. Say your name again. Ian Russo. Ian Russo. Yeah. Is is that Russo with a lisp? No, no, no. Uh, did I say it with a lisp? Just are you S are you T- are you SSO? Are you SSO? It is Russo. Yeah. Okay. You, you okay? Cool. You do have a lisp. <laughs> it, your lisp turns S to THs. Um. Man, what 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 is uh? The hardest part, it's not even the hardest part. The, the thing about doing doing these podcasts is uh is is booking people. Booking people is cause cause especially at this time. This time I'm trying to get comics and people out here is is uh is adorable. That's my word. <laughs> but we we got we got a guest coming in and you can jump in. I like I like how I can just post it on Facebook and say, hey, Who's in the area and want to do a podcast? And then, then all the losers pop up and say, hey, I, I'm, I'm... It's never anyone interested. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's rock. Welcome if you are joining us live. I'm, I'm going to see if um, I can actually uh, do this thing. I, I want to I wanna be able to share it on my phone as well. But uh, what's going on in the world? What? Hi, up, how are you? Good, you Coming to hang out? Yeah. Well, we, this is just a podcast for him. We're just, we're just chapping it up today, and uh, uh, I, I didn't do much. All I did was try to try to work on promoting this podcast and um and and getting. Uh, how's your day going? Good, man. Good. Good. Yeah. Anything exciting? Sorry. Did my improv practice. Yeah, say your name again. Improv practice. Adorable. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on a team? I'm so Are you on a team? I'm on a team. What well, well, for UCB? This is going to turn into a to a to a improv podcast. Are there a lot of those? Is it? I don't know if, uh, I mean, I'm not in it. I'm not, uh, we, we do, like, shows at, like, the pit, so that like, at bars and stuff, like, we're not in the, the UCB scene. That's yeah. Just, that's just, like, a fun thing for me to do. On so. Oh, yeah, that, that's the way you should treat it. Like, a lot of people take improv classes for entirely the wrong reasons. Like, they're doing it to get seen or discovered, but well, when you're trying to, I mean, that's a way for that. Yeah, of course, yeah. but when, when you're trying to, you are showboating, and showboating is breaking one of like the first rules of improv. Uh, yeah. It's about uh, the team. That, yeah. That's what's uh, different about... about, about, about that's about, like, the difference between comedy and... It's and about milking one simple idea for enough... Co- like, to be able to make sketches content, right. which is uh, like a very overlooked... Factor to as why people taking rock classes. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long have you been doing it? I mean, on and off for like a year and a half or so. Really? I'm not. I, I'm. Str- I'm trying to be way more dedicated about just like comedy in general now. So. Yeah. You feel like it's been helping your comedy? Yeah, it's just another way to perform. Like it's, uh, and it gets you kind of like in a different way. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm not. I think it helps. Really? Yeah. I think it, I think also doing stand up helps that because mm. you get 
the, the nerves of stand up are so intense, like yeah. that, like pretty much everything, uh, uh, every other type of performance is like easy compared. Wow. Yeah. Have mean, Have you done improv? Yeah. 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 I've done acting play. Acting play. Yeah, I took acting in college. Yeah, it's like that too. Yeah. And I, I guess if we, we did improv. We did improv in college, but uh, uh yeah, yeah. Part of acting class is always actually doing some kind of improv. Yeah, with the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, it's like improv. improv you just call it acting. Ball, yeah. You do it's like that. Then you know, five people here. Right. Go, and then like, yeah. Watching. Yeah, it's just acting. It's yeah. just like perform. Yeah. It's just. I'm sure it all like it's all. The, I feel like it's all the similar. You know. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, twins. Acting, I think, is tough. But you need to remember mommies. Yeah. And then be yeah. like very emotional with it, and then you got like a, a teacher that's very like perceptive, like yeah. you like sense your energy and shit. Yeah. Like you really like dig deep. You like you know you do like oh no, you like yeah, uh, you out then. Yeah. You be like more, yeah, you know you like oh I gotta dig deep. I need to like <laughs> actually interact with my feelings here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The, the idea of memorizing lines that's still pretty foreign to me, and I said I got to yeah, I gotta get like get on that. I gotta correct that uh, flaw about it quick. Right, yeah, Mr. Say. Like, even but, uh, even like, the too, like for you, to, like not not know it, but like know it to a point that that becomes you. Like, what we're you, studying. Meisner, do you have a team? Uh, Meisner, uh, yeah. yeah, you have a team. Would you yeah. want to bring your team um, on here? Meisner? For the sure. podcast, yeah, I think that, yeah, from, yeah. Uh, well, one, on the next show, yeah. maybe in the next week or two, okay, we'll I'm get you on here. Right, I yeah. think that would be dope. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's look that up. Absolutely. All right. Cool. Um, uh, Mr. Saeed Fareed today just walked in. How are you, sir? Doing pretty good. Yeah. The only, uh, the only form of acting I studied it's outside of improv was Meisner and... Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got a little punk rock. There you go. Oh man. Um so you got no no guests today. No guests today. It's you guys. You guys right, you guys right. and me, so so <laughs> we're just chopping it up. So so you you can toss some stuff out there. Um and, and this is live, so it's awkward as hell. Uh until I mean one guest is on the way, so she so she's uh coming from coming late. Um what what, what what's going on in the world, guys? Uh, anything uh, I, I I didn't uh JFK stuff. Yeah. Which is bullshit, right? I don't think they revealed anything we didn't already know. It's, dude, who gives a shit? He just, he just said something about uh, they revealed that they their plot to kill Fidel Castro, which is Obvious. fucking stupid. Well, yeah, they have, like... Like, I, like, 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 I wouldn't believe... I, you, first of all, I couldn't believe anything that he would reveal, first of all. Yeah. Like, like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was like, yeah, look what oh, I got okay. to show you. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you fucking. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so like, like he's gonna tell the absolute <laughs> truth. Like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah I'm, uh, like, 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 yeah. It was is a. This in your head, ready? <laughs> 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 the the, the date someone punches Trump in the face can't come soon enough, and it'll be. Someone almost did, right? They did. Like no. way back when he was like, uh, he was campaigning before he was president. Somebody tried to like, rush the stage and almost got him. But then the FBI, like, yeah, somebody rushed the stage on the him. Last, I'm talking about like at the last minute, his hands went up, and the FBI was like, ah, and then I like, just tackled him. Yeah, they almost hit him with a shoe. Yeah, private security. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. Something went off when he was talking in, in one of his one like a like a like a firecracker went off when, oh, he, yeah. when he jumped. But uh yeah, he's he's getting away with murder, man, for no reason. Dude, I remember when he was campaigning, he was like someone was saying something, he's like, I wish someone would punch that guy right now. And he's just like this is such arrogance too. Fucking yeah. punch people yeah. in the, the no, 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 sorry, no sorry, he has tone, he just his, his chin is always up when he says it, right? Yeah. Like, and then I hope he punches him in the face. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is her, you know? Jesus. See, I, I don't know. I don't I know. I mean, he's a smart dude, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like, this, we got, though, that, Kardashians, all of them, yeah. it's funny, but at the end of the day, their name is in our mouth consistently. Yes. Yeah. True. People, yeah. Die, people live and die. And their PR know, team is amazing. Are, that's, that's why I always say it. I, it if it's if it doesn't come out that uh, Vince McMahon is not his PR guy, uh, <laughs> it, it's it's right? yeah. 
Because that's all it is. He's just a wrestling boss. He's just a wrestling he boss. He was on wrestling. This yeah, yeah. Right. That. And that's why. And he was absolutely on it. He was. And so, he, so he knows how to play us. Man. I, I saw Vince McMahon in person once. That is, he is a big, big man. He's probably the biggest person I've ever seen in real life. Yeah, yeah. yeah he is way bigger than... Yeah, big, like, huge, like muscle. Yeah, like when I was a kid, I did some PA work with the WWF, back when it was the WWF. And so I was backstage when they were filming like a bunch of the commercials, like I think for like SmackDown or Raw. Right, right, right. So I was backstage like with all the other wrestlers and Vince was just huge. I think the only wrestler who was bigger than him was Kane. What? Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Kane is huge. Yeah. Yo, he's yeah. He was, yeah. I think, well, this was like 15 that, years ago. He so used to wrestle too, right? Vince? Yeah. yeah. But he's a... Like he's, he's, it was, that was his family business, so... Huge dude. Yeah, wow. I really like, but yeah, Vince McMahon too. Like every time he came on stage, you like you just shut up and you just hear him. Like you know, yeah, he was very Undertaker. You know, I challenge you to WrestleMania 15. He's like, oh shit, yo, what the fuck, yeah. <laughs> yo, Rob, what are you gonna do? Like <laughs> yeah, but even backstage, he just gave this air of he, he commanded authority just by the way he walked backstage. Like you just step the fuck out of the way. Po- like, politi- like, politics is uh is I feel like is the same as as WWE. You know, I tell somebody politics isn't real. Just like you say, WWE oh. is real wrestling. Right. Like, I feel like it's the same. It, it's it, portrayed as... It's all. It's presented to us as competitive theater. Yeah. And because I think it's like turning a lot of people off. Absolutely. So it's not coming off in... It's genuine. It's, yeah, genuine yeah. or truthful. Absolutely. What, wrestling? Oh, see, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what's the difference? At my point, <laughs> like, like tell a wrestling fan that wrestling's not real. <laughs> like tell 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 a politician it's not real. It's not. <laughs> it's the fucking same. It's it's <laughs> staged. Everybody's they have their their agendas and then. There's nothing right fake about your president's tweets, you know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but he's bringing Twitter a lot of money, so they're not going to bet. They're not going to bet. Oh, yeah, Trump is arguably keeping Twitter alive right now. Absolutely. He's the only, yeah, Absolutely. they're not going to ban his account because he's keeping that stuff. No. social network alive. Yeah. Bro, the amount of retweets he gets, yeah. the retweets he gets at least, at least 50 to 80. Is he the most retweeted? Uh, Can you nah, tell? I don't think he is. I think he's one of the, but like. Consistently, yeah. 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 God damn. Do you guys tweet? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't tweet at all. I, I don't tweet as much as I should. You gotta tweet, man. You gotta. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You gotta be on Pinterest too, but no, you guys don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, sir? Hey, come on in, yeah, have a go, seat, go on, like a join the club. Man. You keep saying that, but if if that's but it's true. who are you who who are your fans? Who's your you, fan base? Not people who use Pinterest, that's for sure. Not yet. You not gotta yet. get Pinterest as a sponsor for your podcast. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I love Pinterest. I, I Pinterest every day. I'm <laughs> you religious. Got Instagram now? You I, got it's not the same. You can't pin Instagram. Uh, I guess that's the feature. Yeah, yeah. You can save stuff. Huh? You can save stuff on Pinterest. You, you make your boards and people follow your boards. You want other people to know that you're saving stuff, and that's what the point is. So you pin yeah. stuff, you're saving what you like. Absolutely. Like a so it's just a cork board. Kind of it's like a cork yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a like an online cork board. Uh, how are you, how are you, sir? Where are you from? Me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Miami. Huh? Miami. Miami? Yeah. How long are you here for? Oh man, I just moved recently. Really? What's your name? I'm Hans. Hans? Yeah. You're Latino? Yeah. Holy shit! You guys are killing the game with these uh these left field names. <laughs> I didn't know they made. Yeah. <laughs> Latino Hanses. That's that's a. Uh, uh, this is true. My uncle from Germany's name is Hans. Yeah, that's yeah. a German name. How you doing, that's sir? Thank you. Good. Hey. You a comedian? Yeah. Here for the mic? Yeah. Okay. This is the podcast. Oh, sorry. And, and, and all my guests are here. Uh, <laughs> where, where are you from? New Zealand. New Zealand. And what is your name? Guy. Jorge. What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a New Zealand name. That's are there a lot of guys in New Zealand. Not That's really. really? That's no, you think there'd be more guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really think about <laughs> it. So too fucking much, stupid. But... You don't have to tolerate my bullshit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Uh, what 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 uh nationality are you? Uh, Cuban. Cuban. Yeah. Born you born here, but like, you know. 
And both your parents are Latino? Yeah. And they went with Hans. It's a long story. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Star Wars All right. fans? Is that the story? No, it's, okay. it's a Hansel and Gretel. Oh, okay. Uh, that was my birth name, Hansel. Hansel? Uh, yeah. It gets worse. <laughs> That's dope. Your sister's <laughs> No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. she will say she will walk around saying hi to Nick Gretel, right? Yeah, that's her birthday. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. I've never met a Gretel. Yeah, I've never she, met. She wants to have a great personality being be made fun of, you know, when she's younger. Gretel. I, w- I wish we could flash yeah. her picture up on the screen. <laughs> I got I to prove it to people a lot of times. That's. Like, photos and shit. Is she older or younger? Yeah, we're older. We're not like twins. Oh, I was, I was hoping. Everybody we were twins. always hopes twins. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bro- so. She was first, and they went with Gretel, and then you were like, you came, and they were like, Fuck we have to, <laughs> <laughs> we got to go with Han. Like they looked at each other, it was like, the, the, you know, parents have that pillow talk. They were like, what are we gonna call them? And they were like, we gotta call them Han. We gotta you call. Just, them you just know, like, high five teachers. Like, let's call them Han. <laughs> mira, 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 look. <laughs> mira, mira, but I got it. I got it. I got it. I think it's a good name. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good name. Honey, <laughs> honey, listen, listen. Check it out, check it out. Sit down, all right? You ready? You ready? Hans. Hi, buddy. So how, how much older is your sister? Seven. Seven years. Seven years older? Yeah. So they were waiting on this for seven years. They were like, we, they, need, I, we need I, to I, have I, a boy. That was a mistake. Was <laughs> seven years is too much. Yeah. But, now, but now that he's here, we got to go with Hansel. We got to, we got to. Yeah. Oh, That's shit. why I go by Hansel. So just really just avoid that. Like, yeah. Where's Gretel? Bro, Fuck you. you. She's in Colorado right now. That, 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 that's that's name on the list as Hansel, you be skipped. You put it in a bucket. You buy Hansel. It's like, you got a fucking hit. You got a joke <laughs> I'll put my name in the bucket. Yeah, I get it, but that shit gets put to the last all the time. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Well, what about Hustle from Zoolander? We got that one as well. Yeah, that's. But that's Zoolander. That's, that's Zoolander. It's, 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 it's supposed that guy to be. Who did it was, it's, it's famous. <laughs> Comedic. Man. Yo, chickpeas, not bad. Who? Chickpeas? Yeah. Is that what you're eating? Nah, that's what I ate. The chickpeas. I wanted uh, chickpeas. Do you, do you know, if you get to know the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The halal guys? Yeah. If you, the more you get to know them, the more food that they put yeah. in the tray? Yeah. Is, you know, like, first of all, like, if you go order chicken and rice, when they don't know you, they'll just give you a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice, maybe some vegetables. Yeah, but then if vegetables. you, then, no, no, just a little bit. Really? To start, they give you that side of vegetables. A little salad. Yeah, a little yeah. fake salad with a, you know, as a garnish. But then if you talk to them, you get to know them, then they'll put french fries in there. They got peppers. They got pita bread. They got uh, uh, french fries they put in there. Then they got different colored peppers. Then they got chickpeas and black olives. That's cool, yeah. man. I, I'm, I'm pretty much fucking this guy. I'm pretty much... <laughs> yeah. he, he put so much food. He was like, hey, guess what I got? He's got, he got hot peppers. I was like, why didn't you start with this? What, 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 what? <laughs> hey, sir, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good, pretty good. Just hang out. Yeah. You introduce yourself. We're, uh, this is the podcast-ish before the mic. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, All just right. walk up to the camera, put your face in the camera, say hello. What's going on, camera? <laughs> How you doing, man? Man, it's younger than you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> and we lost our viewers. That's yeah, that's everybody's all gone. The all the one viewer yeah. that was like, watching. Don't get curveballs. I don't know. <laughs> From now on, everybody, just put your face in the camera. <laughs> man. Now everybody's like, weird enough. I'm like, yo, move it back, whatever. <laughs> yeah. where, where are you from, Yanni? Uh, I was raised in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Unfortunately. And and how long have you been in New York? Uh, about three and a half years. Really? Doing yeah. comedy or? No, I just started last year. Nice. Yeah, a little what over a year. What were you doing before that? Music and acting. Music? Um, nice. What kind, of, what kind of music? I was in a lot of different groups. I was in a funk group for a while, but it was more like a Frank Zappa wannabe. Oh, shit. Like, we all thought we were amazing. Cover band? No, we wrote our own stuff, but like all really like intricate, like yeah. crazy songs like that. And then... Um, for a while, I was in like I actually played trumpet in a like an old school uh, swing band. For wow. A while. wow! That was in New York. That was New York swing band. But we didn't. We were just playing like bars and stuff like that. You you never see you never see a uh, 
a cover comedian. <laughs> Right, uh, it's like the one, act. like a tribute act. Like there's no, there's no Bill Cosby cover act yeah. that's gonna come out. That's and, weird that you say that because last night I saw a guy do a bit where he was, he became Jerry Seinfeld, and it was weird. Really, it got funny at the end. Like he did. Some yeah, really we do stuff. impersonations. Is that the same? No, yeah, if, if you do the whole set, comic. like if I did a whole Robin Williams set. I, I think that level school though. You got impressions that would do the same jokes that they would say. You got impressions that they ain't body. Like, yeah, I, the that person. person. They would say things that that person would say that they never said before. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, like fucking uh, Jay, Jay Moore or whatever. Like, he doesn't yeah. Really, uh, Carlin. Yeah. Carlin. Yeah. Carlin. Yeah. Great. What's the guy from the Tough book? Crowd? The guy that did the Colin Quinn? Quinn? Yeah, Colin Quinn does a great Colin Quinn. He says shit that Colin Quinn had would never say, said. Yeah. But you'd be like, oh, shit. Right. But he takes on his That's voice. His whole entire person. Bro, you hear him, you'd be like, how is this not Colin Quinn? Like, yeah. How, yeah. Like, how, why did Colin Quinn not say what Jay Moore did say? Yeah. Wow. Hey, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I'm going to go grab uh, the cash from there. No, uh, good, again, good. But I wanted to ask you, if I've got a 4.30 mic again, is it okay to go up at some point? Um, like 4.10, 4.15, the latest? Now that you asked me in front of everybody, yeah, they're, wow. they're, <laughs> they're everybody's going to be like, well, if he's going to go oh, up. Bullshit. You know, yeah, you see, if, <laughs> what, I, what I give the option to do now, I give yeah. the option. If you challenge somebody, you can go up whenever oh, you want. okay, I'll do that. You challenge somebody to burpees, you can go up second, first. Whenever okay. you want. That's why I give the challenge option so I got you. everybody's not oh, like. Oh, yeah, it's much easier. I won't even do that. Yeah, just challenge 10 burpees and. Yeah, and yeah warm up for the challenge? Yeah, you should warm up lunch. today because it's Friday. Lunch. The challenge is if you do, you, you raise your hand before the comic touches the mic and you yell challenge, uh, you challenge them to 10 burpees at the floor. And uh, if you do 10 burpees before they do, you take their spot. Wait, I don't understand. 10 burpees? Yeah, 10 burpees. What's a burpee? It's a pu- you jump up, do a push up, uh-huh. and, and back up. Jump up, do a push up, yeah. and back up. So, what does that one look like? You so jump up, jump up, land. one push up, chest to the ground. Yeah, that's one. And then I, jump back up. Damn, I, man! Well, you know how much harder that is than just asking you to go before. Yes, four, four, I know. Eight. I know. I'm a fitness consultant, so <laughs> that is that is my life. So now, you get your mind right. Yeah. You can go. I don't know if I have that in my two of those. Well, I'm have to skip that night. Man. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just just find the weakest Bro, person. It, it, it never pays off. <laughs> Whoever wins is always out of breath. That's right. That shit's hilarious. Like, <laughs> so, so point out the weak. Anyway. It's usually a side. If you look inside, but I don't know what side you are. Just as far as everybody, as they're coming in, their eyes like, I think I can take this guy. I think I can. This guy's name is Hans. I mean, he's not, you know. Yeah, that just sucks. You lose and then you don't. Get to go up. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love you. <laughs> well, all right. Um, I was hoping to get three mics done today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, can you just give it up? You challenge me, you can have this mic. So yeah, yeah, right. And then you can go do your spot and then fuck everybody else. And let right, them. right. I'll just see how this shit plays out. Yes. I don't think I'm doing about that. I'll push-ups. do my best. I think no check the list. See when you're up there. Also. Okay. Is there a way you can like counter the challenge? Be like, well, what if I do thirty push-ups? Can you like negate the challenge that way? I uh. Like, counter challenge to the challenge. Right. Thirty. If you could pick your exercise. Well, no. Like, like, let's say someone challenges me. You say, no, I want to go first. <laughs> huh? What if they do like thirty, <laughs> what if they do, like, 30 yeah. push-ups in under a minute? Can they like negate the challenge so, that way? In under a minute? No. 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 It takes too long. It takes you. I, that's why I did burpees. Like some people, if you have a, a an ailment or something, I'll do maybe squats. I'll do push ups. Just someone just rolling up in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. I challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> shit. 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 Yeah, absolutely. I've I've, I've, tra- I've trained handicapped people. So. <laughs> Jeremy Cash. You just need arms for a push. Just put his like body up on the wheelchair. No, but he has two dead legs. So not mean, right. You don't need legs for a push. Yeah, but you'd be cheating. You're using his whole entire leg. Like I've changed Mr. Uh, Alex Yarmulson. You want to come hang out with me? Come hang out with me until this lady, this uh, young lady gets here. Is this still the podcast? So we're just chopping a shot. What are you waiting for? Jacks. Oh, Deloso? No, different, no. different. Uh, There's more than one Jacks? Yeah, it's another one. Oh, oh man, J-A-X? J-A-X. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy Cash, give it up for him. Just hang out with me. Jeremy. Walking. Yeah, oh, man. What, what, you, what you up to today? Oh, I got a date tonight. Really? Nice. Yeah. Nice. My friends are setting me up with a girl. Oh, yeah. you see her yet? Yeah. You saw her? Oh yeah, I've seen her. Oh, one to ten. She's she's like a solid seven or eight. Just so you know, we're going live right now. Yeah, so. that's fine. Okay, she, cool. She, she got five. <laughs> she's cute. I like her. No, she's got five. Yeah. Nice. What is her vagina? What? Um. 
Is this like, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you've been on a date with him? Kind of. Okay. We had a hang. Hi. Come, come here. Come here. Give it up. So no, you hush. Thank you. Ah, same. Thank you for running down here. Oh, my God. I, I walked for 30 minutes. Nice. Did you walk down here? Yes. My friend was dumb enough to tell me to walk. Oh, oh you never listen. From 34th Street. Yes. Oh, yeah. Say your name. Introduce yourself to Hi, everybody. Hi. My name is Jackie. Jackie. What's your last name? Castillo. 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 Look at that right there. Yeah, right there. Right there. And uh, this is uh, Jeremy Cash. Hi, Jeremy. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Good. Nice. Thank you. And we are live. Here also. Oh, we're, on, we're Facebook Live. Yeah, Facebook Live. Oh, hi. To our two, to our two people who are, who are watching, um, uh, tell them a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a recording you. engineer. I yes. own a recording studio in Boca Raton, Florida. End. Yes. And um, I edit a podcast called The Weekend Sex. Yes. Oh, nice. That's yeah, how right. we met. Yes, yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> how are you? And uh, and how long have you been podcasting? I have been editing. editing? I have oh. been editing <laughs> for uh, one season. Yes. Yeah. I've been a recording engineer for about 25 years. Holy cow. Yeah. So you know what the hell you're doing. So yes, you, I do. So you look at this, look at this bullshit. Right? <laughs> my, my little, would, don't look at my set. I would spruce it up. <laughs> yes, of course. You'd be like, oh my God. Um, uh, so it, it, tell them a little bit about your podcast. Uh, yes. I don't own a podcast. Yo, I just edit it. Oh, yes. uh, the Weekend Sex yeah. belongs to Mr. Alan Fuchs. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. 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 I did that. Yes, yep. you did that. Yes, I did that. I did that. It was sexy. Hey, let me tell you something. Because he, he does it at a uh, at a strip club. Yeah. It's, it's always at that club. Rick's right? Cabaret. It's always yes. at Rick's Cabaret. And uh, the saddest thing you'll ever see in the world is walking into an empty strip club. In, in the afternoon and just watching strippers just dance to themselves. Like I was uh, I, like they were just in the mirror. I was like, this is so sad. It's like the <laughs> open mic of strippers. Yeah, yeah, they were they were just so well. Why would they dance though? Wouldn't they just chill to You gotta them? practice. Yeah, they were just practicing in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe yeah. they're getting paid by the hour. Maybe it's like the man said, like, keep dancing. <laughs> and all these young customers. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it'll, so, somebody so will show So come in. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for coming. Um, oh, my pleasure. Thank you for and having me. And Jeremy, we know you. We've had you. Yeah, uh, I could just sit come. here, you know. Just I was just filling in, in for a couple minutes. Oh, uh, how's so your day? So it's all about you. Well, I just yeah. flew in from Sweet. Florida this nice. morning for the weekend and so hopefully you're enjoying Halloween here nice I come every year really yeah I thought you lived here so. yeah where are you no. from uh, I, well I'm from Newburgh New York but I okay. live in Florida I was there last Florida. night I was were in you in Newburgh? Newburgh well I was in Marlboro oh uh, okay Marlboro? Yeah, sure. yeah I was doing a show in uh, the Falcon in Marlboro okay I left yeah. there when I was 11 so yeah <laughs> it was a cool place is it I'm sure yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like live music two floors really I mean, the comedy For show sure. was sad, but the venue was very nice. Really? Yeah, comedy yeah. show's always sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like the farther north you go, the sadder they get. Yeah. It's just broke white people. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, um, we, we were talking about Trump. Uh, I hate talking about politics, but I'll let you, I'll let you okay. chime in. Like, uh, like, and what like, are we going to like, say like about how, how do You tell me. How do you, how do you feel about it right now? <sighs> it's a love-hate situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's love. That's a nice. Well, yeah. I'm going to tell there's you love. why there's love. Um, he works. You can tell he's working. <laughs> uh, whether it's good or bad, eh, has no experience. He's no experience there, so he kind of messes up a lot. But at least he has the Congress like on their toes. <laughs> and not only that, they're scurrying. Well, think of it this way. We have paid them for years and years and years. They hide everything they do. It's incognito. Unless you're somebody that is really into politics and really reads up on the uh, agenda that they have and you're really up on your senator and your um, representative, then you don't know what's happening. And most of the public, American public doesn't know. Well, that's true. Um, I get it that. is very true. I get that. So uh, he is really putting it in our face. Yeah, and he's really exposing people that don't want to work and want to collect a paycheck. Right, I just, and, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to interrupt or not. Okay, no, yeah, it's okay. okay, absolutely. I'm sorry. No, and, no that's fine. It sounds to me a little bit Just like, try to say a name before you say something. Yeah. So, sorry, so to me, they are now scurrying. Everybody hates each other, 
and we're seeing the drama that we never saw before. <laughs> you know, so and that you could peg it as entertaining or you could peg it as, oh my god, our country looks like shit. So right. it depends on the person. I, I agree with you in terms of the overall activity that's heightened is a good thing. Yes. It's just it, it feels like as far as if I were to say what do I think about him specifically? It feels almost like, well, my body's being attacked by a virus, so yeah, my body's really awake right now to fight the virus. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I understand like, completely. I mean, this is a, a man that's attack. completely inexperienced in this arena. But why is that relevant to, like, in terms of giving him a pass? No, 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 no. I'm not giving him a pass. I'm just saying he's, he's inexperienced in the arena of politics. Right. So therefore, he, to me, he's fighting for his life. Uh, against all these people that are used to this kind of environment. Now, is he doing a good job? It remains to be seen because it's way too early still. Is he an ass? He's looking like an ass? Yeah, he's looking like an ass oh. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> he I, I, is. He's a full blown sociopath. You know, yeah, I really he, do. yeah. Not like but again, it's a survival of the fittest, right. and these people are aggressive. If you, you try to stick in that arena, I mean, it's really hard to, oh, to no. maneuver. Yeah, of course. You know, you got all He's these an rules and re right. regulations yeah. and yeah. all these laws that you have to know, and maybe he just doesn't know them, but we elected him. Yeah. Oops. So now we got to live with him for four years. Right. So you what do you do? You fight him, you make him look like shit in the world arena, or do you attempt to, to see kind of like what he's trying to do? I think ultimately, right, you, know, you feel against it, you got to get involved and get him out you of You have to get like involved. It. I mean, all these people can criticize and call him an asshole and put pictures of his stuff all over Facebook. <laughs> but if you don't get stuff? involved, <laughs> then it's all fault. Yeah. <laughs> There's somebody put a picture of his junk the other day on Facebook. And you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, do. Yeah, <laughs> you know who you are. Wow. <laughs> Somebody was putting dick pics of Trump on That's Facebook. That's awesome. You sure he didn't uh, do it? Huh? You sure he didn't do hey, it? Hey, he might have. <laughs> <laughs> but again, if you don't get involved, then it's our fault. Well, you can do both. You can fault. put dick pics up and get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's getting but involved. It's, just, it's, yeah. technically, <laughs> it's technically our fault for electing. Yeah, yeah technically, yeah. it's not like it's the yeah. you know, And again, too. like almost actually more than half the people didn't vote for. So. That's correct. Well, and he won the electoral way. Say he did. Whole the electoral college. Yeah. Which we should get rid of. So did anybody in here vote yeah. for him? Um, Is like, anybody? Well, there's two schools of thought there. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, put yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> that's did you? True, but oh, the electoral God. college exists <laughs> because some Hold states on. are very little, and they. That's why they made the electoral college. Question. Right, but, One second. Good. Sorry. sorry. No, I'm going to what you were saying. Like uh, I live, I live in LA. I've been there for about two years. I've. Uh, I, mean, I haven't been talking politics publicly because it's like such like a divisive thing right now. Oh, Go very. But like connected to what you were saying, I am embarrassed with myself that I've lived in North Hollywood for two years and I don't know who my congressman is. I don't even know my mayor's name. Like I yeah. Right. And again, it, it I, is I our fault. <laughs> yeah. Who I don't even know who my governor is yes. now that I think about it. It's Jerry Brown. It's not no. It's not, it's not Jerry Brown anymore, but it's you. It's, it's not <laughs> 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 We're all just walking with our heads down until it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, uh, that's, all, that's all you did know, right? Yeah, but and, uh, he's like, like telling like, out to us, this is, you should feel bad. This is stuff that I should know. Yeah. When yeah. Absolutely. It's also, I feel, uh, it's also like, it's, not being reported on, like as far as local politics goes, because I like I, I'm a firm believer that free press is dead because uh, sponsored advertising has you taken correct. over everything. Like it's all about clicks and ad revenue, and that's more dangerous than uh, than state controlled media to me. It is, and now we we are seeking other outlets for news. I mean, do you really watch the national news? I don't. No. I, I don't watch the I watch the event. So there's. Right it's like, I have to like BuzzFeed. I watch the yeah. Morning Joe once a blue. Yeah, I only read the Economist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Joe. Yeah. At the gym. At the gym. Yeah. But there are <laughs> there are grassroots <laughs> news. <laughs> news. Oh, Maybe part of the hard to hear what you're saying. It's kind of true though. One second. One second. One second. One second. I'm just saying there is an interesting reaction when you were speaking that I was 
it felt like I was like, a, in a way, I do have arguments against what you're saying, but it also, there's a lot, I mean, truth to just knowing that the power is in our hands. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about all the media or whatever it is, yeah, I mean, you know, ultimately fix it. Even, even if you get involved just in a little way, it doesn't have to be that you're like, hey, I'm here at the mayor's office, you, but you can contribute. Yeah. In a very small way. I just started um, counseling immigrant women that are battered in marriages that and don't see a way out. Wow. They yeah. don't see a way out because, and I'm not going to try to be sexist here, but these men are holding them hostage and yeah. holding their ability to become citizens here hostage. by And, and they're battered. So I yeah. have two friends that have gone through this and didn't know a way out. And I help them find a lawyer and then, you know, seek their green card because they do have some rights. I mean, there's a small contribution that you can make. Right. There always is. Right. So I encourage you to do that. Yeah. Find is there, something is there, that interests you. Is there, is there like, a check, like a checklist that, of the advice that you would give them to get out of that relationship? Um, well, a lot of them don't know uh, their rights. Mm -hmm. So uh, you seek out immigration lawyers that can, just put it simply, a lot of these people don't speak English. So they think that they're trapped in these marriages. So what you do is you, you hook them up with an immigration lawyer and they basically tell them the steps to take in order to get out of the marriage. And then by being battered, they all automatically qualify to become a green card holder. Yeah. So wow. that's, that's, yeah, they do. That's gotta be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they have to be gainfully about. employed. They have to be gainfully employed and they also have to be con contributing, yes. Hey, uh, first of all, I really like what you're saying, by the way. I think it's, it's actually really good that you're starting a dialogue. Like, um, I'm not... Oh, Thank I'm you. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm not a huge Trump fan, but um, but it's nice to see, like, it seems very polarizing right now. Like, it's either you yes. freaking hate him or you... Oh, you love or, him. Or you love him, freaking right? Love him. Fucking whatever. Uh, but... It's actually nice to see that you're, uh, first of all, you're addressing this, like you're starting a conversation, but you're actually like, I think in a way, humanizing the Trump, which I don't think a lot yeah. of people do. No, you know, they so don't at all. He is a person at the end of the day, like whether you think he's horrible or not, he's just a dude. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he's also showing you that, that he gets hurt. Yeah, and like, the way he fights back is the way he fights back. Yeah, hold I'm hold not, off, I'm not saying, you know, hold off for signing that list for me. Just, just drop it. I'm not saying what it is. <laughs> we'll do now, it right and, now. Uh, what, what's your name, by the way? So My name's Jackie. Nice to meet you, Jackie. Is there a way we can? Uh, I, I, you're on Facebook or something? Or yeah, you know, we'll give her, in, her information in a minute. Um, uh, but thank you for that. Yeah, anybody else got a question? Do question and answer. Did I just shut that down? <laughs> we were hot for a minute, and now everybody's cold. Um. <laughs> now nobody wants to speak. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> it's your fault. Um, so in in uh, Miami, right? Uh, no, Boca Raton, which is uh, closer to West Palm Beach. Yeah, we call it the beaches. And uh, were you hit by the last hurricane? Oh, yeah. We were hit bad. Yeah? yeah, it was eight days without business and without power. Absolutely. Uh, I feel like you got overshadowed by Puerto Rico. Oh, it? yeah. And I'm also Puerto Rican, yeah. which, you know, I have a lot of family there, too. Wow. So it's been a, a rough year. <laughs> it's been a really rough year for us. So, okay. Um, what, what, uh, I have a question. Uh, you, you've been engineering, so you've, you've seen the process of, oh, sure. of, mm -hmm. of people, like, uh, going through, what advice would you give them about starting about starting the what? podcast. Well, the first thing I, I have to say to you is buy good equipment, get a Mac. <laughs> don't, don't judge this. <laughs> no. <laughs> buy good, yeah. buy good right equipment. Yeah. There is inexpensive equipment that you can get. Um, I'm in the business. I have a music store, so I sell the set equipment. Yeah. Um, Shore has put out a very nice line that you can use in an iPad or um, even on your phone. Uh, I believe it's called the Motif line. And it's brand new. I want to say it's a year and a half old. It's very affordable. It's most of the mics start at like fifty bucks and yeah. up to two fifty. What's the name of your store? Uh, it's Backstage Music in Boca Raton. Nice. But um, these mics are gettable anywhere, and you can do everything on an iPad. You can use GarageBand or at least invest in Logic. And podcasting is is really not that hard. They even have a, a preset podcasting channel on Logic. And logic is about three hundred dollars. Yeah. 
would, would be, just, yeah, sorry, yeah, you're gonna be uh, just around for a little bit while we do the mic because I wanted to ask a few questions about that actually. Sure, absolutely. I'd be happy to help you. It'd be boring for everyone. It's just mm -hmm. te techie. No, no, I'm, I'm a big techie, so okay. I'd be happy Thank to help you and give you some advice. There you go. That's what she's here for. Um, I, uh, I kind of just texted him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she <laughs> I like, jumped in. I got a friend working till seven. What are you doing? <laughs> You wasn't telling that part. It's supposed to look like I'm a professional and I know what I'm doing. No, no, she's around the corner. I was like, yeah, come on in. Uh, pretty funny. That's dope. Thank you. And thank you. No, um, my pleasure. Uh, uh, we'll do some goofy questions and then, and then wrap this up. Uh, married? Divorced. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 That's how you're supposed no. to celebrate. Yeah. Have a party. Oh. No, I saw the coolest, um, I guess, uh, Facebook the other day where a gentleman put up a wedding scene in his lawn and he wrote for Halloween the scariest thing I could find. <laughs> and it was a, a scene of a wedding. <laughs> the scariest thing I could think of. That's what he said. And it was yeah. really, really funny. I, I couldn't stop laughing. Halloween but it was um, let's not discuss <laughs> <laughs> it. was a Kardashian. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't, but it was too long. It was too long. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Way too long. That's Trump. <laughs> what do you say? Let's get back to Trump. Get back to Trump. Trump's marriage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, um, no, it's all good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, I won't overstep no, my bounds. No, if, if you are, okay. I'll tell you. Okay, I, I didn't see any of the. Trump dick pics that have been going around, but I do have a question. Can somebody pull up the Trump Is it true what they say about people with big hands, or in this case, tiny hands? I, I couldn't tell you. I was you married you a little see, too long. You didn't see the pic? <laughs> oh, I, yeah, but the pic is not really of his actual, yeah. Yeah, it's you know, it's, it's somebody took a picture from underneath the table with his legs spread. Uh, so it looked, was okay. Was he wearing a skirt? Yeah, no, skirt. no, 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 it's pants. just a bulge. Uh, he looked okay. How about that? Looked okay. He looked right. okay. He's a tall man. I'm he sure is he's fine. <laughs> Is he tall? How tall is he? He's like six five. Is he yeah, six? he's yeah, he's very tall. tall. Yeah. He's like seven. Yeah. I just wish he'd get some hair. In he's place. not seven feet tall. No, no, no. Seven, no. no. But James Comey's tall. Comey is what, six, six, eight. Six, six, oh seven. no, yeah, that guy is huge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't know oh. I was this talkative. No, 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 no. I'm always on the other side yeah. of the mic. Yeah. <laughs> you like this side better? Um. No. I can change it up. Yeah. You're fine. You're fine. You're freaking awesome. Um. Do you do any comedy or? Oh God, no. I'm a musician. You want to do comedy for the first time? No. This is the no. mic after, so... Can I tell every... you something? I respect all of you because I don't think I would have the guts Man. to do that. It surprises, you know? it surprises and, and me I, how many people think like that. Like, like, I respect... The only thing I'm going to tell you that I think... Musicians are people that are really welcoming. When you hang out with musicians, we play together... We encourage each other. I wish you guys were like a little more like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you the truth today. That's this probably accurate. will go, you know, viral or more something. <laughs> no, it's oh my not that. God. I used to be a musician, and I know what you mean, but once you go to three mics, in one day, and then you do it's, that three, four times. You guys are horrible to each other. <laughs> <laughs> really not to each other. We're it makes us to each other. There's a lot of support within the. But community. I see when you guys are getting gigs, and really when you get up into the a little bit of the upper echelon of, of comedy, you guys backstab. You guys talk bad about each other, and I'm like, what the hell is this? And then you don't get paid. I don't understand that. <laughs> Musicians always get paid. That's uniquely comic, though. I think that's <laughs> no. You guys do a lot of free stuff. Yeah. You do. Don't yeah. tell me yeah. you don't. Yeah. I I've witnessed it. I follow oh, I've followed comics are, around. None of us are making a living doing. No, yeah. but why not? Why I've spoken to many a comic. <laughs> I don't understand why there's not a union. Union. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Musicians have the unions. Club. Wasn't the Friars Club like a union back in? Well, you know, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What like, happened to that? Where you striking. can make a living at what you love. Like, Do you understand what yeah. I mean? I'm to, sorry. These club owners are posing all of us. In order to make uh, make a living off of stand up, you have to dabble with other stuff like writing, acting, and filmmaking. And there's there's unions for all that. Like, but not. You know, but nobody has the guts to start one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Or, I mean, have a meeting. Have a meeting. The people's union. The people's union. There's no buy-in to start the union. Because imagine if one night, oh God, I'm going to get it. Do it, do it, do it, say it. Imagine one night, nobody showed up at the comedy clubs. Imagine. <laughs> and then the owners would be like, because they make a hell of a lot of money on the alcohol. I know they do. Yeah. And then they'd be like, you know, maybe we should throw them a couple bucks. <laughs> maybe. You know, some of you guys get what to get paid twenty five, thirty. Oh, I think a lot of people go through first periods not getting anything. Yeah, yeah. And nothing. Oh, Imagine, it's mandatory. You know, and you guys have to do eight or nine <laughs> sets a night. Yeah, it, yeah even to no, make, it's crazy. I just don't understand. A lot, it. Of, work, a lot of it starts out with like just at least trying to get exposure. And stuff yeah, like that. there's just so correct. many comedians too. Yeah. So like they oh, feel I like they can do that. Like if yeah. you know somebody so, was like, I'm not going to perform if you don't pay me. Imagine the strength in your union. Oh yeah, if if everybody shut it down, it would be very interesting. To It'd see be what very would interesting, and you deserve to get paid. You just do. It's sad that you guys have to work all day long and then try to hit the pavement at night. Yeah. Till oh, one definitely. and two yeah. in the morning. It's yeah. exhausting. Right, okay, start. so that's yeah, you start. <laughs> I'm Thank sorry. Oh, um, tell them where they can find you. <laughs> huh? Where they can find um, social media. I have um, my name on social media. I'm on Facebook is Jax J A X C A S T is my last name. And yes, you can friend me. Yep. Um, and and my uh, website is backstagemusicnetwork.com. That's my store. You have a website. Mm-hmm. You guys got websites? I know the answer so, to that question. And I also have a Facebook yeah, for that yeah. and an Instagram. And, yeah, I, don't I do Twitter. have a website. I do not Twitter. No Twitter? No. No Twitter. Pinterest? No. Huh? Pinterest? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! <laughs> See that? These fucking guys. <laughs> fucking I love Pinterest. Pinterest. <laughs> I love Pinterest. I, man, that made my day. I, All right. organize, so, I organize on okay. Pinterest. Yes. Can you describe what Pinterest mm-hmm. is? And it's, a, it's more like an idea, kind of. Imagine it. As, like I call it blue sky. The things you're interested in. Yeah. Yes, things that you're interested in. Let's say I was trying to figure out what I was going to be yeah. for Halloween. So I started looking at all these uh, costumes and stuff like that, and I would pin them into my Halloween file. And then I'd go down saying, hmm, can I handle that, handle that? And I'm like, nope, I'm going to be this. And that's why I chose. And then people follow you. And on then that. you can refer back to it to you know get ideas and stuff like that and there's of course it's whatever interests you you could i do fashion i do fitness i do yeah. uh, music so whatever interests you you can pin it onto that board so i call it the blue sky everything you could want possibly want. Yeah. Well, what's your what's your name on pinterest huh what's your name um same, same? thing jack's Jack. yeah uh give it up for her one more time yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, jeremy cash uh We'll wrap this up. This is another episode of The People's Mic. You can find this on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Blog Talk Radio. All right? Give it up for yourself. Thank you guys for hanging out.